Hey guys, third day and the third episode of my dream reality TV show version 0.0 because, well, let's hope that someday there will be the official script I've written. Uh, yesterday I took an ex extra, extra episode for you to the level where I maybe have said some confidential information, so I first have to check if I can even publish it ever or take the number out. And uh, today, uh, so what was yesterday happening? The boutique is uh, confirmed. I, I have a boutique in um, my neighborhood, which is just outside of Paris. And uh, all the clothes are still in my apartment. And now I need to find the money. This was the topic yesterday um, to pay the um, a goodwill for the business, which is an interesting amount of money when uh, as uh, last time when I started entrepreneurship, like, what is it, nine years ago, eight years ago, my first business idea, I was personally almost in debt, mm, yeah, like, literally no cash on my account. And um, as much as everybody was telling me, it's impossible that you start doing business if you have no money, it was possible and it um, was growing and then it pivoted and then it developed into a new idea and a big event in Prague uh, that got really known and popular and everything. And um, so it is possible. First, the message today is if you have no money on your account and we want to start a business, it's possible. It's a question of the internal resourcefulness and an intention that you have. And today... Uh, I was sitting uh, here. I also took some of the clothes that I have at home and I know they are unsellable or they are not really, um, not, not unsellable, like they are pieces that um, are not in the concept that I want in my boutique. They're like lower in terms of quality or image or there are some maybe a little default on them. So I took them to um, kind of a charity shop, but it's not the charity shop it's a it's an ngo that is reselling the clothes locally i will take you there sometime it's just the next door this is the next neighborhood behind paris and um, then uh, this was one of the things and uh, then i was just uh, thinking who to have the conversations with i'm cooking guys it's important for me like the definition of success is i'm cooking it's a homemade food um i I was thinking who to have the conversations with, like who do you choose to speak with when you have a huge ambition that majority of people would consider crazy. I chose very carefully the people who can open something in my mind and support me in it and to tell me it's totally feasible, it's totally possible and even um, um, have some practical propositions. So I called a woman I worked for 12 years ago in London, she had a boutique and I was her personal assistant and I learned a lot. And now the boutique is coming and I was like, okay, let me call her. And so we spoke after many years, we haven't he heard from each other. And it was an amazing conversation. So this was the topic today, uh, making it possible in my head. I have ideas. Uh, now I have a to-do list um, of the things, how I'm going to approach all the situation about the boutique. And, uh, and uh, there was also a question of success, like uh, people would follow success. Maybe you agree with this, but we all have our own definition of success. And my own definition of success is that I live slow while I'm being su like successful, right? But still... Not sacrificing my life, not sacrificing my mother maternity, like my motherhood and time with my my child, uh, not sacrificing my uh, time for myself, my personal development, my therapies, my growth, and like living through this entrepreneurship adventure with peace inside me and with uh, peace and ease and joy and security of course it's a challenge of course it's not easy but i want to be the living proof that you don't have to work 18 hours a day to make it and to make a lot of money because for me money is a side effect it's not the goal for me the goal really is to serve and if i'm opening one boutique in the neighborhood that's going to help people and serve people i'm good with this but i know that 
I feel inside me that I'm supposed to go somewhere much, much beyond that. And it's scary and maybe the thing I'm really scared of the most is losing this, you know, the Saturday evening and I have here my homemade food and yeah, this is just like the, the peaceful evening, you know, just the simple life. I just want to keep my simple life while, while running business that would be meaningful to people and maybe pretty big. So this was the episode number three of the reality TV show. God knows when and how this will go out and you will hear about this. Now looking forward to share with you more next time. Bye-bye.